Hello YouTube, hola YouTube. So, a story time part two. I, I, I probably should not put numbers to this because I don't know at what order this is gonna come. But if you've missed my first ever story time on YouTube, you can click in the description down below of how I dated a homeless man and then I found out he wasn't homeless or that he was homeless and my mother's like, Ellie, stop seeing the homeless guy or we'll throw you out. This is a little bit different. This one is my Thanksgiving special and a little bit a bit uh, about my upbringing as a baby Ellie and what a Thanksgiving means to me and um, some of my more um, memorable Thanksgiving moments. So when I was a baby, we start off at baby Ellie, okay? Baby Ellie. So I was born in Mexico, but my parents traveled to the United States to try to provide us with the American dream, which a lot of immigrants do, right? They bring, they come over to the United States to try to have a better life. Um, and, you know, uh, that is what happened. Unfortunately, things don't always um, happen the way they should. And I kind of grew up not having the bestest of lives. My dad um, s became an alcoholic. My dad became a very abusive drunk, very uh, much what you see in television and movies. You know, that father that doesn't really care about their children or doesn't show it at least. And my mother um, left us. My mother cheated on my father and left us with in his care. She never could come back to pick us up because honestly, we would have been t thrown into the foster care system. My dad would have been in jail because he would have disposed of my mom, eliminated my mom if he had, she had come back to pick us up. Really, really that type of environment that I grew up in. And so because this happened, um, I didn't grow up ha um, having much of the luxuries that a lot of kids do and Thanksgiving was something that is celebrated in the United States all the time um, and so you know November uh, you know Thursday comes around for like Thanksgiving on during November and all the kids are celebrating all the kids are having their turkey their families everybody's joyful moment to give thanks you know this is the kind of culture that you are expected to have living in America um, I didn't really have a lot of that. In fact, this is a story about one of my most memorable Thanksgiving experiences. Growing up really poor, we didn't really have a lot of food. But you know what? I'm not complaining. I really love how I was raised. I think it taught me a lot of valuable lessons in life, like um, how to be grateful for the little that I do have. And for the what I do get, I am extremely thankful. So in case you guys are seeing this during Thanksgiving, Thank you guys so much. I'd like to extend my biggest thank you to everybody on YouTube and over at Twitch, my family. You guys are considered my family now. Um, more about my whole family stuff in a different video. Uh, but anyways, so I do remember this one time vividly during Thanksgiving. This is my most memorable moment. And I think this is one that has always stuck with me. And I, I, I think it's done a really good thing in my brain because um, when I was little, I didn't want to let anybody know that I was poor. In fact, I kind of lied about having money when I was little. I was like, oh, I'm rich. Oh, no, this, which is really crazy and absurd because I had shoes that had holes in them. My clothes had stains in them. My socks had holes. I. I was stinky in school. I was a poor child in school. I didn't even have money to pay a dollar entry fee to go to the zoo for uh, field trips. I was really, really less fortunate growing up. And I don't know why I just was too embarrassed to admit it uh, because kids made fun of you. You know, if you didn't have money growing up, you were bullied for not having money, which is really unfortunate. You know, and I was one of those kids trying to fit in. I didn't want to be, um, I didn't want to be poor. I didn't, I didn't want to do none of that. So this, this Thanksgiving story taught me something very special to me. And it made me feel like I was really grateful to have what I do have, you know? So, uh, again, I grew up having not much and we didn't really have a, a money for like a big Thanksgiving feast. So I remember that my, my brothers, um, uh, what is it? What, what do you call that? Um, Godfather, 
I think it's called a godfather. My brother's godfather came over and said, hey, I want to do something special for your children, you know, talking to my father. Um, let's all get in my car and let's go drive down to this um, center where they give food and toys to the less fortunate. And I, I don't know, I guess my dad agreed to this for some reason, which is really interesting to me because my father doesn't really ever like to leave the house. He's a big introvert. Um, so my father said, yeah, sure, let's go. So we all put the bestest of clothes, our rags on, and we went and waited around a, a convention center where they were handing out free food and toys to the kids this is not the first time that we went there either later on we went there again forth for christmas as well i believe we we've been there maybe two to three times and we've been there one time for thanksgiving and i believe the other the rest were for christmas so this moment we get on the in the car we go and um I'm all I'm like all like hyperventilating like nervous because like I, I don't want people from school to see me and then we we get out of the car we we line up and the line goes around the block of people like homeless people uh, you know people that are poor to line up to get and I was like I felt so nasty but you know I'm a, I'm a kid at that moment I don't know any better I feel so bad I'm like oh hopefully nobody from school sees me that I'm here all like a poor and I'm you know getting food from what the government and you know um as i'm in line I, I i start to see like all the other kids in there and like how happy they are and i'm just like still very embarrassed until like being like 30 minutes into this line until i go up with my little tray and i finally get in the building i go up with my little tray and then you know i say i want this 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 i want the turkey i want the ham i want the mashed potatoes and then they have you select like a, a toy from like this pile of toys and i don't really remember what toy that i end up getting probably some action figure if i'm being completely some wrestling toy or something and then i get my little tray and then i go sit down at the table and i'm watching everybody around me uh we do all the like festivity things and you know we hang around we have fun we get back in the car we go back home and um and there with my brothers and my sisters, we are like playing with our toys and stuff. And then we have to go back to school. And then when we do go back to school, I remember a key moment in school where my teacher asked, what did everybody do um, for uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas? I believe this is a Thanksgiving Christmas special in my school. And I, and all the kids were telling uh, everybody where they've been, where they've uh, where they've gone over Christmas vacations and stuff. And everybody's like, oh my God, my grandma came over and she got me like the new PlayStation and everybody's giving these like big gift rewards. And I'm sitting there like, like, uh, like hoping that uh, the bell rings and I get it, you know, excused and everybody goes to lunch and they forget about asking me, what did I do? But of course that doesn't happen. And they're like, Ellie, how was your Christmas? How was your holiday vacations? And I was like, oh, I went um, a skiing. I went ice um, skiing. And my teacher's like, oh, really? Where? Where did you go? And I, I didn't know anything. You know, I thought the most famous place in the world was New York at that time. So I'm like, oh, New York. And that's like, oh, that's interesting. We're in New York. And I was like, I don't really know. It was just New York. I, I lied through my teeth. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to be the one child who says, oh, we went to go line up for Thanksgiving. For Let me tell you, we were so bored. And we went to go line up for food during Thanksgiving. And we got some toys. And then we stayed at home and they got nothing and we didn't get anything because that's was my life growing up i rarely got the big beautiful christmas fairy tale that a lot of kids um get to grow up having and then at some point i grew uh, older obviously and i realized that it it just it's much better to just come out and be honest about it and I realized the power of just being, you know what? Despite everything that I've been through and all this other stuff, I'm still alive and I'm really happy that I'm still here. And 
I guess the moral, the gist of the story is that I found out that it doesn't really matter. Like, who cares what other people think about you? Yes, I was born poor or I was raised poor and I had to stand in line. But I like that I went through those experiences and it tells me a lot nowadays because I know I'm not the only one. I know that there's a lot of people that are probably in the same situation. And hopefully you're not 13 years old and watching my stream right now because 18 plus. But, you know, we all go through that shit. We all go through a lot of these things where we're a little less fortunate, where where everybody suffers from a different struggle. Maybe you were you had everything, but you didn't feel that your parents loved you. Uh, maybe you did have these Christmas things, but you didn't value it because X, Y, and Z reason that happened in your life. Well, I am um, sitting here telling people in my chat today that I am very, very thankful that I did get to experience that because it, it means a lot to me more now in days that I did go through those struggles, that I did see myself trying to hide the fact that I was poor and realizing that it just makes no difference, you know? Um, except your 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 fate um, try to gain some knowledge from where you were born and try to be or how you were raised and try to be a better person maybe not for yourself but people around you maybe even so yeah so that's my little story about Thanksgiving and what Thanksgiving means to me um, I know that it, maybe not what it means to me but uh, at least how I was raised and how thankful I am nowadays for every little thing that I um, encounter in my life so yeah so i'm very thankful for you guys on youtube and you know what i'll be more thankful for if you guys hit a comment like and subscribe do you have any little stories like that are you willing to ever come into voice chat with me and on twitch to share your stories because i'd love to hear them yeah not so fast hit that subscription button before you head out how about that